All right. Uh, we're going to first start off with, um, with the uh, SQL Lite. I'm going to start it in a uh, directory called SQL If I check out the directory, there's nothing there, so I go SQL 3 learndb So if I do dot schema, there's nothing there. If I do dot help, I'll get a list of commands that I can use. Now if I go dot schema again, sorry, um, if I then do create table learn db, I'll use um, a as an integer field and b as a string. Now if I check the schema, you'll see that that there is a table in the database. Now if I quit from the database, I do a directory, you'll notice that learn.db now has uh, two kilobytes worth of data in it. So space has been created for that database. And I'm going to reopen the database. Now I'm going to insert some rows. One, that's J, K. I'm inserting these rows um, from another adjacent script. And the last one. Okay. Now there's four rows in the table, so if I go if I go dot dump. Now dot dump gives you the whole database including the create table statements. And there you go. You start a transaction, create the table, insert the four rows. Now the way to um, get data is to run a select statement. So I'm going to look for A and B. Select A and B from learn DB. So I get A, which is the integer, down this side. Uh, the bar is separator, but you can configure it for other separators. And you get the B, which is the string, which are the names. Now I could also go B A from learn DB. Just gets them in reverse order. I could also go So select is one of the typical statements. Um, I can also go delete from learn tb where b equals j. Okay, so now I, would, I, I deleted that row. Let's see. And you'll notice the J row is no longer there. I can also delete all the rows. Oops. I don't have to do any com any conditions. And if I check now, all the rows are gone. And I can also drop the table. All the rows in the database are gone. And that's pretty well it for your first spin at SQLite.